let's save some money today. I'm gonna give you actual real life frugal hacks, frugal tips that work, and they are going to help you save thousands and thousands of doll hairs. So without further ado, hook me up with, no, not one of those. <laughs> Without further ado, hook me up with a thumbs up. Just click that like button. It's free. You can do it for free right now. And let's get started. I am going to give you right now my best saving money hacks, frugal living. These will make the biggest difference in your financial life. And we're gonna kick it off with the one I might get the most pushback on. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. How about moving to a cheaper area? crazy lady. I know it sounds totally crazy. My friends today in this video, I am not going to ask you to do anything that I have not done myself in search of better paying jobs and lower cost of housing and lower cost of living. My family moved across the country for times in the course of our marriage and raising kids trying to seek out the best jobs, the least cost of living and where those connect. If you've only ever lived on, let's call it the East Coast, you have no idea how inexpensive it is to live in other places. There are some parts of the country like, let's call it Kentucky, okay? If you've never been to Kentucky, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning scenery and the cost of living is so low, your jaw will be dropped. I understand you want to stay with family. You want to stay with friends. I get it. But if you are truly struggling with money, moving to a less expensive area, especially if you can keep your salary and work remote will serve you the biggest. This is my like number one biggest tip is move to a cheaper cost of living. This next one I think is one that anybody can do and it's to do a no spend day slash week slash month. If you don't think you can go an entire month, try a week. Can you go an entire week without spending on anything other than necessities? I mean like fill up the gas in your car, get necessity groceries, milk, eggs, bread, you know, things like that. You're not buying shrimp. You're not buying brie cheese. You're not buying wag wagyu beef. How the heck do you pronounce that anyway? Wait, beef. <laughs> if you don't think you can go an entire week, do one day. What else can you do with your time? What else can you do to entertain yourself? Maybe pick up a book. Don't have a book? Hit up the library. It's free. Step away from Amazon. Amazon Prime, same day delivery. I personally think that a week is a good starting point. I don't think a day is quite long enough and one month is a very, very, very long time. The next one is to actually plan for your financial future and that does mean things like life insurance. If you have not gotten the life insurance yet, I highly, highly recommend you pause this video right now and go research it and sign up for it today. If you're looking for which company to go through, Fabric by Gerber Life provides an easy one-stop shop for all of your family's financial needs, offering high quality term life insurance policies plus other financial solutions in one easy online hub. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help you get a high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. It could take you less than 10 minutes to apply, see your quote, and then personalize your quote to fit your family's needs. You could be offered coverage instantly, no health exam required. They offer a 30 day money back guarantee. You can cancel at any time if you want to. It was designed to give parents like you and like me affordable term life insurance, wills, access to college saving funds, and more. All in an online easy experience. Protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply today in just 10 minutes at meatfabric.com slash frugalfitmom. That's meatfabric.com slash frugalfitmom. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash frugalfitmom. It's the first link down in the doobly-doo below. Thank you to Fabric and let's get back to more money saving tips. If you wanna save money, you should probably start shopping secondhand. I know what you're thinking. Christine, I don't have great thrift stores where I am. They're too expensive. The items are broken. I get it. I actually don't love thrift stores myself as the ones in my area are no good either. But you know what we all have? Facebook Marketplace. I was perusing Facebook Marketplace today just to see what was going on. And they had some amazing deals that I could recommend. Number one, I saw a brown leather, like pull out couch, $75. It looks just like that, like, Scandinavian look with the wood and the white and the black and the brown couches. You know what I'm saying? 
$75. You don't have a truck to go pick it up. This girl was offering delivery for five extra dollars. So for $80, you could get a brown leather couch with a pullout and you don't even have to pick it up yourself. You know what else I saw? I saw a Cuisinart air fryer, $20. Someone bought it, decided they didn't want it, tried to recoup some of their money. I saw an 07 Honda Pilot with 150,000 miles. Don't run away, don't run away guys. For like six grand. Had leather, heated seats, a sunroof, a hitch, four wheel drive car. If I didn't already have a pilot, I would buy that pilot today. And mine has like 160,000 miles. I would drive it across the country tomorrow. You can buy cars and furniture and household goods and clothes and shoes and kitchen appliances and save a ton of money. Check your bank account regularly. There's something I feel like everyone should know and that's how much money is in their bank account, how much you get paid, <laughs> and which items have cleared and which ones have not. You should be checking on your bank account every day or every couple of days. If you know it's the 15th and you get paid on the 15th, go check it out and see what's going on in your bank account. And I know it can be scary if you're not used to looking at things like that. However, the knowledge of what's actually going on is far better than the fear of what the heck is going on. There are endless apps to help you with this. You can make spreadsheets. You can just log on to your bank and go take a look at it. Knowledge is power, my friends. You like my hair? You like my haircut? It's nice, right? Looking fresh, sleek, fleek. All fleek, as the internet says. Space out your haircuts, your hair colorings, space them out. Are you used to going Every four weeks, go every six weeks. Usually go every eight weeks, go every 12 weeks. I'm clearly trying to grow mine out a little bit. And because all I need right now is a little trim on the ends to keep the split ends at bay, I can do that myself. I can get a friend to do that. I can get my hut. No, I'm not gonna get my husband to do that. But I could get a friend to do that, especially if I bribe them with candy. That being said, if you go to a hair place and you have someone do your hair, please don't be a cheapskate when it comes to the tip. Like, make sure you tip your service providers. Also, if you have sons, it's so easy to learn to cut boys' hair. Get a set of clippers, they're like $30 from Walmart. You can upgrade once you really figure it out. Watch a couple of YouTube videos and practice. And the younger your sons, the better, because when they're really young, they don't care that much. And then by the time they're older, you've got gotten a lot better at it. My boys haircuts could cost 30, $35 a pop and they need their haircuts like every three weeks. So I'm saving a ton of money by having the skills to do it myself. Do you get bonuses at work? If so, give me one of these in the comments. And also you're, <laughs> you're pretty lucky to be able to get bonuses. Do you ever get cash gifts, Christmas, birthdays, grandma and grandpa send you a check, mom and dad send you some cash in an envelope. Do you ever get those kinds of things? If you do, save them. You can either save them in an emergency fund, you can pay off debt with them, or you can put it towards larger sinking funds or larger financial goal purchases. Let's say you want a hot tub, you get a bonus, you get a financial gift, you're shoveling it, you're shovel, 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 shovel. You're shoveling it into the savings for the hot tub. You don't know how you're gonna pay for Christmas this year, but you got a $500 bonus from work, save it. That's how you're paying for Christmas. Just because you get a bonus doesn't mean you're like, I'm Johnny Cash. Time to run to Disney and go on a cruise. No, make sure your financial goals are being taken care of first. I'm standing by my pantry and refrigerator because it wouldn't be a real Christine video if we didn't talk about the food and the changes we can make with food. So the first thing I'm going to mention is be careful about your protein choices, maybe cut them out completely. This salmon, way more expensive than this pork roast. We're talking six to $10 a pound on the salmon. Pork roast, I can find for 99 cents a pound if it's on sale up to $3 a pound. You wanna save even more beans, the magical fruit. Magic beans is what they are. I did a budget video where I showed like a simple, easy way to cook dried beans. I will leave that below if you wanna check it out, but beans are an awesome source of carbs, fiber, and protein. Zero fat until you add fat into it, which I recommend in the form of bacon fat. You wanna go one vegetarian meal a week just to test it out, go for it. You don't wanna try dried beans, go with canned beans. Less than a 10th of the cost and probably a third of the cost of the pork. And if you find it for food does not taste good, here are the two things that you need to make it taste better. Butter and salt cannot go wrong. Maybe some fresh pepper. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Not willing to give up your restaurants? That's fine, don't give up your restaurants, but I would recommend splitting 
your meals, especially if you live in the United States. Have you been to a restaurant in the United States? The portions are like bigger than my face and they're getting more and more expensive. So number one, stop ordering drinks. Just drink water at the restaurant. You don't need to pay $4 for a soda. You don't need to pay $10 for like a mixed frozen mango smoothie. I'm a dog, I'm a drink. Just stick with the water, it's gonna be fine. And then get your meal and split it with whoever you're with. You'll feel better, you'll save money. As an example, let's use Texas Roadhouse because it's one I kind of actually have eh, close-ish to where I am. This is what we like to do, me and my husband. We go to Texas Roadhouse, the rolls are free. Okay, they bring them to your table, we order water. Water with lemon if you're sassy. We order the porterhouse right here. It is $32. It's got a filet on one side, a New York strip on the other side. It's 23 ounces and it comes with two sides. I order a side salad and a baked potato. It comes out, we cut it in half. My husband gets the strip side with the baked potato. I get the salad and the filet side. We share some rolls. We do the tip. We are out of Texas Roadhouse with a steak dinner for two for 40 dollars. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Maybe a little less depending on how you tip. I like to tip a good amount. You don't wanna pay the tip? Do pick up. Less than $40 for a steak dinner at a restaurant and that is by splitting, splitting the meal. No drinks and taking advantage of that free bread. Uh, feels a little crazy in here and I don't really have time to make dinner tonight so what if I just started pulling stuff out and it's crazy dinner night. Have you instituted one of those fend for yourself night, smorgasbord night? New England blue plate or the uh, Vermont smorgasbord? There's some leftover pasta, so someone's eating that. Grapes, let's rinse these up. This is our appetizer. Hummus, excellent. Let's get out some crackers and we'll have a hummus and cheese course. All I'm doing is pulling stuff out of the fridge that would have otherwise gone bad or be thrown away and having like random dinner night. And to help you with situations like this or to avoid dinner situations like that, don't forget to meal plan. Meal planning and sticking to your ticket, I mean list. My list? Here's what we're having this week in case you wanted to know. I have a coconut curry soup barbecue country ribs and potatoes, Korean beef bowls, Mexican meatloaf and mashed potatoes and corn because I have a bunch of canned corn. The last day is fend for yourself left overnight. Need new meal ideas? Check out my website, frugalfitmom.com. You need recipe tutorials? Check out the over 500 cooking videos I have here on my channel. I'll put a whole playlist down in the description box for you if you wanna go check out any of those videos later. Raise your income. Okay, hold up, hold up. Before you go jump on that keyboard to leave me a nasty comment right now. Hey, 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 hey. It is possible and it requires a paradigm shift that I didn't have myself when I was in my 20s and early 30s. I had to totally change the way I thought about jobs, income, and possibilities. And here's what I've learned. You wanna raise your income at your current profession, switch companies. I am telling you that is the fastest way to make more money. Number two, maybe there's a job that you didn't know existed and you're only gonna find that job if you talk to people. They used to call it networking, but I'm saying just talk to your friends. Hey, so-and-so, I'm kind of looking for a thing here, my skills, have you heard anything? I have so many friends that have found jobs that way into areas they didn't even know existed or that they were good at or that they could do. And now they're making three times the amount of money that they ever thought possible. If you think you can only make $50,000 doing XYZ job, I know people in my real life who make 150. Did you notice? I didn't even say get a side hustle. That is always an option. I've done it myself and I love it for short-term financial goals. However, I don't want you to work 10 jobs for the rest of your life. I don't want that for you. So I'm gonna push you to the first two things I said. Think outside the box, talk to people you know, and switch companies. You just have to find the right opportunity and you will not find those on indeed.com. You will not find those on LinkedIn. You have to get out there and hunt, but they're there. Next is to track Everything. One of my favorite budget shows is Till Debt Do Us Part. Money, 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 money. Because one of the main things that she teaches them is that they track 
every penny. Every time they spend something, they put that receipt in the jar. They write it down. They spend 52 cents on a stamp, they write it down. And those tiny little purchases, it's the Starbucks, it's the light bulbs, it's the toilet paper. Before you know it, you've spent $500 and you have nothing to show for it. Tracking everything gives you so much information about your personal habits and where your money goes that it's easier to make future decisions based on past performance. And the very last tip I have for you today is probably the most important, and that is to work your own plan. I have different financial goals than you, and you have different financial goals than me. And that doesn't mean either one of us is wrong. It just means we're different from each other. So if you see something I'm doing that doesn't make sense for you, don't do it. And you might be doing some financial goal that's not important to me, but, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it either. Try to ignore <laughs> what the people in your life are doing with their money and do your thing. Do your plan follow your goals. Those are my tips to save money really, really fast that actually work. And one more reminder, if you don't have life insurance yet, this is one you cannot wait on. Use my link in the description to try out Fabric by Gerber Life. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Thank you to you for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time, bye.